We started with the Bach St. Matthew Passion. Your Pulitzer Prize winning piece is the Little Match Girl Passion. The similarities go beyond the word passion at the end of the titles, don't they? Yeah, actually there's a lot of um, things I stole from the Bach into my piece, consciously. Um, the original idea for this piece was it was commissioned by Paul Hillier, and I got very interested in trying to think of something to do for him that he would enjoy. Well, let me first say, oh, Paul okay. Hillier, the, uh, the director of, among other ensembles, the Theater of Voices. That's right. Amazing conductor of contemporary choral music. He's really a luminary in the vocal world, and I knew him before as a composer groupie. I knew him as someone who was really associated with um, Steve Reich and Arvo Pert, you know, the people who I think of as the people who define what contemporary vocal music and vocal choral music is. Um, but when I started looking at his CDs, I just bought as many CDs of his as I could because I wanted to make something that would, that would make him happy. And I realized that uh, even though he's a completely modern man, most of what he's done is religious. Most of the music that he has recorded is music that's about Jesus. So, and I thought it was very interesting that just because he decided that he was going to dedicate his life towards singing, that he ended up becoming an advocate for Christianity, even though he himself is a, you know, not a particularly religious person. Um, which is not to say he's not spiritual, but you know, it, it, it's, it's something interesting about Western music, that, uh, that the core of our canon, a lot of it, is uh, just because of where we come from, because of our origin in the church, and you know, the, the origin of um, funding opportunities through history. I mean, who employed Bach? You know, Bach without the church would be a starving artist just like everybody else. 